Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Let's pause a little bit from the laws of thermodynamics and let's focus again on the magnetic motors or free energy generators. Alright, so today I present you Chung Nan Mu Yuta 2 apparatus for generating autogenic energy. Yeah, basically this is the other term for magnetic motor or free energy generator or however you want to call it. On the side you can see this beautiful image and very simple. This device is extremely simple and easy to replicate. So I think I will take myself a challenge and try to do this one because really it's obvious, it does have sense to work. And now let's get to the drawings and see what was his idea. Okay viewers, so let's have a look on this very very simple magnetic motor or autogenic energy generator so or aperture for creating autogenic energy this is just the same term however we use it basically describes the same thing that we will be able to produce the free energy on this main output shaft in the middle so let's start from the beginning describing what are these components and how this inventor um, got an, an original idea and he experimented as it's written in the patent that this really can work and can uh, spin continuously this main shaft. So now let's have a look and start from the beginning describing components one, one by one. Okay, so it's very simple. If we start from this, so this is very simple, very simple housing which has the holes for the main shaft on which there are bearings and which has this, this other hole uh, which is basically the yeah where this uh, second set of magnets uh, can go only up and down yeah? and now we will see how it can perform that and why it can do that yeah? okay so so this is the housing and this uh, these things which are cut out to be able to mount the other devices inside so second thing you will see we can start with the main shaft okay and what we have here so you can see we have the main shaft, uh, this yellow bottom up on the bottom. On this one, uh, on this shaft, let me just take this out, maybe it's more easier. So on this uh, primary or output shaft, uh, we have actually two things. We have one permanent magnet, uh, this uh, red and blue one, and we have this green part, which is the flywheel. Yeah? So this flywheel, we will see later, will help us to to be able to continue this rotation because it will with, uh, hold it will hold the kinetic energy and uh, it will help with the angular momentum that we overcome that opposing magnetic field does not stop this motor from uh, from that it's not stop this motor yeah? so basically that's the purpose of this green flywheel which has some weight yeah? second thing is the upper part so this this one goes as, as I showed you only uh, up and down on this housing yeah? so it can go it can move only up and down and how it can move up and down so there is just a mechanical system here you can see that this magnet will not rotate it, it is fixed it will go just up and down through this hole yeah? and and how it will do that so if I, I take here this is a special support which is mounted on the on the flywheel yeah so as the flywheel will spin this this uh, this uh, holder will actually rotate and uh, rise up and rise down this magnet through this uh, axis yeah so so that's the purpose of uh, of the second magnet and now i'll try to describe how he calculated and measured and experimented why this should rotate so i've i've I said before that this flywheel is the key yeah and it is really is so, so this flywheel will help that this um, magnets uh, this uh, bottom shaft and the bottom magnets on the main shaft continues to spin so as you can see now uh, in, in this setup the the motor is in the lowest possible position so this upper magnets is in the lowest possible position as you can see this red red the, this magnet will repel itself from this uh, upper magnet. Yeah? So in any, any moment before before this one, yeah, this, 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 this will be more up. Uh, so this upper magnet will be more up and it will not interfere with the opposing magnetic field to let's say glue itself to the bottom magnet because yeah, he will be far away and he will be very very far up. So the, it will not stop the, uh, the, 
the spinning yeah and as you can see I'll put it a little bit in x-ray but because it will be much more easier to see so if I if I move this real now in this this way yeah, you can see now that this bottom in in the in the lowest position uh, in the lowest position this magnet on the on this shaft will be exactly uh, perpendicular to the to, to this axis yeah and the second and the second magnet on the, on the main shaft is you can see it's shifted for 10 degrees yeah? it's written in the pattern that 10 degrees is enough so basically they are not they, they are they, they do not need they must not you know, be perpendicular because the motor would stop yeah? and exactly this 10 degrees yeah? as explained in the patent is enough yeah? then this 10 degrees now we can see the slope is enough that uh, we overcome yeah, and uh, this opposing magnetic field because this upper magnet will be even higher so this field will be lower and this 10 degree slope will be enough that this bottom magnet comes to the position where it repels itself from this upper magnet yeah? and and this shaft will enable uh, that this continuous uh, this uh, repeat itself continuously yeah? so that's it yeah? so x-ray always helps to see and there is a bearings here for the smooth rotation yeah and uh, and this and this flywheel is is the really it's the key uh, to that this motion stays continuous yeah so this is really easy to replicate so it's not too much we do not know exactly measures and the weight of this flywheel it's not written in the patent nor it's written the the type of the magnets but it proposes neodymium magnets for this purpose yeah so that's basically it so this patent describes that if the bottom magnet is shifted uh, for 10 degrees in, in this position yeah, and this magnet will go up and down so this will help this flywheel green one will help that this continues to spin indefinitely so i hope i was clear enough i'm not the too great expert in english but basically it, it, it looks really really simple yeah, and and really easy to replicate so so this is basically it all right viewers so you have seen that this is a really really simple device yeah basically it uses one uh, axis for moving of the fixed magnets up and down and the other axis on which is the main and the output shaft on which is mounted um, a magnet which is shifted only for 10 degrees uh, if we compare it with this on the which goes a vertical way yeah so basically this 10% of angle should be enough when this upper magnet returns down that this opposing magnetic field does not stop him and that it can pass and then repel itself from the opposite magnet side yeah so the like poles should repel themselves yeah and uh, the key in this system as you have seen is this the flywheel so this green on the screen on, on, on my drawings this green wheel basically on which is this mechanism which help us with this motion is precisely in its position this flywheel uh, retains the momentum so angular momentum and kinetic energy that this uh, that this motion can continue and continue indefinitely by the idea of this inventor so this is basically it so, so I think I'll try to make and replicate this one because it really does not cost much yeah, to have two magnets and some uh, some work on the Laffe machine but let's see let's see what will came came up of this so, so thank you for watching I hope you enjoy this uh, this one I have few on the pipeline which you will find also interesting so just wait and stay tuned on my channel bye bye